Hello and welcome to One Cool Thing, PC Mag's daily streaming show on Facebook. I'm Matthew Buzzy, this is John Burek, and we're cheating a little bit today. It's usually one cool thing from the lab. We usually take one product we're testing and show you. Uh, today we have at least three. Um, we'll pull out even a fourth. We have so much to talk about. It's NVIDIA RTX day, not GTX any longer. Say goodbye to the old generation. We have the new cards in. Uh, we have not tested them yet, so do not bombard us with benchmark performance questions yet. But we can talk about the ports, the features, what they have going on. If you have any comments or questions other than specifically what they got on the benchmark tests, uh, leave them in the comments section. Social Pete will read them out to us, and we'll try to answer what we can. If you want to show, if you want us to show off anything in particular about the cards, uh, we'll you know we'll do the best. We got cameras. We got we got time. We got nothing but time. Yeah, John. Sure. Yeah. So yeah, we have the drivers actually downloading on our test beds as we. Speak. As we so speak. we really don't know what these things do yet, but we do know that they're here. They are definitely here. Right. So what do we have here? We have um, a couple of uh, RTX 2080 cards. This is uh, NVIDIA's version of it, called the Founders Edition, mm -hmm. and one from Zotac. We have a few others coming uh, from different uh, third-party card makers. And then we also have uh, NVIDIA's version of the 2080 Ti. The that's, big boy. Yeah, that's the high-end card. Yeah. yeah. Right. So basically, these are going to be your high-end uh, consumer graphics cards um, to choose from mm -hmm. come September 20th next week. Um, Soon. They are not cheap. No. Um, oh, God, the, no. Yeah, <laughs> yes, the, uh, the 2080 uh, Founders Edition starts uh, $799. I believe this card, going off memory, is $839 list. Mm -hmm. um, it's slightly up clocked, and we'll get into all that as we open up the boxes. Yeah. And $1199 on the 2080 Ti with um, some cards starting a little higher, some cards starting a little lower mm -hmm. from folks who are not NVIDIA. Yeah, so. if, you're, if you're unaware how it works, NVIDIA puts out the two stock versions, the Founders Editions of their card, and then the manufacturers, like in this instance, we have Zotac's card, um, but MSI and all these other manufacturers, they put out their own versions of the cards. They can either make them more expensive, less expensive, depending on if they want to kind of make it a lower price point or a miniature version sometimes, or they, they super clock them, they overclock them, and they make them extra expensive and fast. Right. Yeah, um, and actually in this case it's a little different than in previous mm -hmm. because with the what are called the Founders Edition cards that NVIDIA are putting out, they're actually um, overclocked a bit themselves, mm -hmm. whereas in previous generation uh, cards, the uh, 1080, 1070, 1060 Founders Edition, those were considered like stock cards that were sort of the baseline. Sure. These are actually upticked a little bit, so they're going to be... They're $100 there, more than the standard right. MSRP of the uh, of the others. Yeah, the whole thing is what we've seen so far is with the 2080 Ti's, we mm -hmm. actually haven't seen announcements of significantly cheaper 2080 Ti yeah. cards um, that are going to be any cheaper than the Founders Edition. So the card market will play out. We'll see what happens. I mean, if it's anything like the last launch, and hopefully it won't be, <laughs> um, you know, the cards will be available. Whereas, you know, when they launched uh, in 2016, there were availability issues and prices kind of skyrocketed. Yeah. So um, we'll see what happens when they actually launch. But um, there's a few here today, so we can uh, start taking we these out. We can get into it, yeah. Here. So why don't we start with the, uh, yeah, start with the 2080. 2080. All right, put the 2080 So there's here. So there's different design in the RTX. They dropped the GTX uh, moniker um, from these cards. They're RTX, which is the R is for, for their new ray tracing technology, which is really at the base of this new architecture. Um, it's going to be a feature in games for lighting effects and stuff like that, but it's all about how light reflects in real time. In game, it's not synthetic, it's, it's real time light reflections, and so these new RTX cards are so, um, you know, that's so ingrained in the design that it's literally in the name. Um, and they do look significantly different from yeah, the uh, previous last gen. gen. Yeah, so um, actually, just for contrast, let me get out our... We have uh, we, one. We just we had this sitting around. As, as one does. Yeah, we always keep a 1080 Ti around, never know when you need it. Um, so this is the um, GeForce 1080 Ti. This was basically the high-end Founders Edition card from the last generation, and as you'll see, the... Um, New generation card uses two fans as opposed to one, and uh, the interesting thing here also is that if you're installing this in a PC case which has um, either a tight design or mm. thermal issues, um, the old cards would use what was called a blower type of design um, and push the air through the card and out the back, so you weren't sort of blowing hot air into the case. Whereas with this, you're gonna have a little more circulation probably mm -hmm. of the cooling inside the case because there's an open top there with, uh, let me twist that over again. Some vents. Um, some of the uh, air will be shot out that way. So it's a, a different concept, but uh, then again, we haven't even fired these up yet, and NVIDIA is so, saying they're gonna be quiet. So that's that what they be, say. You know, having two fans as opposed to one means that each of the fans doesn't have to spin as much. Yeah, yeah, oh, no, they're very this metal, pl this metal plating on these is, is I mean, those aren't light, the old cards, but... Um. Yeah, there's a lot of cooling going on here, and maybe mm -hmm. the fact that you have much more of a, um, uh, a heat sink on yeah. here and two fans spinning will enable it to run it's a hefty, bit quieter. Yeah, hefty the back, metal border, yeah, yeah it's the, all just... Yeah, the back panel is also... Uh, it's It makes the card feel like one unit. It yeah, wraps it's around interesting. the side there, and actually, I didn't even notice this the first time around the end over there. Those are uh, little LEDs. I guess we'll see what they do when hmm. we... Uh, 
when we fire it up. Mm. But um, one thing to note is if you look at the top of the card, if you rotate it that way for the anyway. camera, um, the power connectors here, it looks like it's going to take um, an 8 pin and a 6 pin power connector for the RTX uh, 2080. That's the same. <laughs> Very as, light power requirement. Yeah, no, I have to, let me take a look at the specs over here. I don't have them memorized, I have to say. We do have a cheat sheet. I'm sorry. We're yeah. sorry to disappoint you. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, 225 watt uh, TDP on these cards as opposed to 180 on the uh, original Founders Edition. So, um, yeah, you're going to need a significant um, mm -hmm. power supply to but run these. No, no surprise if you're going to build the system this Basically. high end, you were probably prepared uh, to get to get something mm -hmm. powerful. I see a little tab over here. What's this about? Let's I don't know. See. Are those cables of some kind? Got a little box. Let's see. What they give us? What's in the box? Uh, we have. Okay. You can't leave home with <laughs> Whoa, okay, so we've got our um, support guide, quick start guide, and a dongle of some sort. Yeah. What is that? That is DVI <laughs> to... DVI to uh, DisplayPort. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I guess you would probably use that for a second monitor. Yeah. Because if you're buying one of these cards, presumably you have... And they're probably, it. like, no one has <laughs> these sitting around. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, true. But if you're also, if you're buying a, you know, a $900 card or thereabouts, hopefully you bought a monitor that's also, yeah. you know, HD, uh, HDMI or DisplayPort. Right, you know, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, let me take a quick look at Not using many DVI monitors these days, but... Um, yeah, so I think the design, I don't know, it's definitely more minimalist, just while you're, while you're looking yeah, at the specs. We'll um, a little bit more aggressive on the old designs. I do kind of like the old design, but this is kind of clean and, and cool looking. Yeah, it definitely takes a, a very different uh, approach to it. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, you, actually you could argue this was a bit much. Yeah, in terms of length, they're the same length. Mm -hmm. I believe it's, uh, going off memory here, 10 and a half inches. Um, so we're right. looking at, you know, in terms of case clearance, if you're using one of the Pascal, you know, 1080 or 1080 Ti mm -hmm. cards, it will fit in yeah. terms of uh, actual clearance. So we'll see how it goes in terms of, um, you know, acoustics mm -hmm. and obviously performance. But the idea behind these cards really is um, you have a high-end monitor, which is either high refresh or 4K or HDR or some combination of the three mm -hmm. or all three. And uh, you really need to push frame rates with um, either 4K or HDR enabled or when the time comes, you know, ray tracing enabled uh, right. uh, games. So we'll, uh, we'll see. We, I have a question. How important is ray tracing, and how exactly does it work? Um, remains to be seen. There's like three games right now that are going to launch with it. The new Tomb Raider is actually, I think, comes out today. We are actually downloading as we speak, and actually, we discovered the ray tracing features are not yet enabled. Perfect. So, so they're not even there. <laughs> There's so, that. I forget what the other two are. Um, yeah, I'll have to off the top of my head. There, there were, there were uh, uh, just a small handful of games that kind of announced with the ray tracing technology that will actually feature it anytime soon. Um, it does look good. It's a little, it's a little, they did like an on-off demo. It was a little suspect, I want to say, about like how it'll actually look in game. Mm -hmm. um, and what kind of effect it looked. Have. Yeah, it looked yeah. like the, the settings were also being turned down, like the visual settings of the game when they were doing like on and off ray tracing right. in game. So it's hard to say exactly how it looks without, without really getting hands-on time with it. Yeah, I suspect, um, yeah, with the initial reviews of these things, we're probably not going to see a lot of hard data in terms of how much effect ray tracing has yeah. or doesn't have on uh, performance. Because that's the thing, um, looking at the, the, you know, the numbers based on the specs and the, you know, the, the improvement on the hardware. Um, there's going to be a performance boost, maybe 10, 15, 20 percent. I'm not really sure what to expect, but uh, the ability for it to do ray tracing is obviously new, but I'm not sure how much of a performance in terms of like a, a frame rate hit, right, literally turning that option on will have. Right, and um, if you're also of the mind to do this kind of stuff, you're probably also interested in HDR, and mm -hmm. if you have an HDR panel, there's also liable to be some sort of a um, performance yeah. um, uh, overhead for right. running HDR. So these are all sort of sliders in a sense that, you know, we're going to have to play around with and see, mm -hmm. you know, what the effect is. You know? I'm very curious if the if the performance increase will go towards running ray tracing and the new effects at the same level as these cards would with it on, or if it can handle those things so well that it can even run it better with those effects enabled. Right. I'm, not, I'm not sure which we're going right. to get. And it's going to, of course, vary probably from game to game, yeah. too, mm -hmm. and, you know, those games don't really exist yet. Yeah, so, so yeah. <laughs> that won't be, we'll be running a several uh, synthetic benchmarks and also just uh, real in-game. Uh, right. There's a good handful, a pool of games we have that have built-in benchmarks that spit out a score um, on various setting levels. So we'll have a whole suite of tests to say how they run, but um, that won't include ray tracing options for now because like you said, not enabled. Not so we will see. Yeah. Um, should we take cool. the 2080 Ti out? I mean, it's sure, gonna look roughly the same, but you can see it anyway. Okay, so we'll put our, uh, 1080 Put our toys away. away. Okay. 
All right, so 28, 28 ETI. So no surprises here when you open it. As a matter of fact, we could probably juggle them back and forth and yeah. not be able to tell which is other which. Than the, other than the name here, they are pretty they identical. They're pretty much identical. We actually have an inventory sticker on the back that I'm going to remove, pardon me. <laughs> um, there we go. So the 2080 Ti we have over here. Well, actually, there is one difference. With, take it um, out. I guess I, I guess I can take it out and just show you how, how okay. identical they are. Right. Yeah. Bring the other guy out. Okay. Now rotate it towards the camera like this, mm -hmm. and let's see if the studio audience can figure out the difference. Or, or me, because this right. is really the first look I'm getting at these. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the pin, the pin number. Yeah. So the um, power connector over here, two eight pin power connectors are needed for the 2080 Ti. Um, as opposed to a lot of juice. six. Yeah, a lot of juice required, so I'm gonna just duck under here for a moment and see <laughs> what the TDP is on these. Um, 260 watts as opposed to 225. So that's uh, that's pretty heavy power. Yeah, drop. that's a lot of power. Yeah. <laughs> so this card is gonna be a, a, you know, a real power drinker, but it's also, you know, your highest end consumer video card you're gonna be able to get come and next week. Yeah, you're so. prepared to pay over $1,000 for it. You probably invested in a good power supply, right. I, would, I would guess. Yeah, one, one, one would hope, right. So, yeah, once you're- Oh, you didn't cheap out on literally everything. Yeah. I have four gigs of RAM, a 250 <laughs> watt power supply, right. and a My 1366 <laughs> by 768 monitor. Yeah, 20, yeah. 20, and a 2080 Ti. But it'll run at 500 frames per second. Yeah. I think we have a question. How much of a performance boost will GDDR6 memory give compared to GDDR5? Mm. Yeah, good question. We don't know. Good question, yes. That is, right. that, is another, um, that is another difference though. New RAM, uh, new VRAM built into these cards. So mm -hmm. that alone is another boost in addition to all the cores and other Right, yeah, higher bandwidth memory is yeah. uh, going on in here. That will have an effect. And in a sense- and it's, it's, That's huge, yeah. Right, and it's, it's also in a sense trying to like un unbake the eggs from the cake mm -hmm. in a certain sense. You can't really tell how much of it is memory, how much right. of it is the GPU cores, how much it is, is other stuff. Mm -hmm. But we will have numbers and uh, we'll be able to tell. And I also see behind the TI here another little tab box so thing. The same, the same. What do you think? Same thing? Probably. Let's see. I'd, I'd imagine. Same thing? Yeah. Yep. Okay. DVI to display port dongle in case um, you have an older secondary monitor, maybe you want to connect one of these cards. Oh, we should probably talk about the connectors now that I think about yeah, it. Yeah. Because there's actually some different stuff going on there. Speaking of this wiring. Yeah, let's pull out the, uh, the uh, 2080 Ti. So if we look at the back edge over here, what do you see, Matt? Boop, 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 boop. Um, oh, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I have, yeah, like I said, I haven't really looked at these. So they moved, these used to be in, in a row, first of all. Uh, right. they, it did keep the same number of ports. There's th still three display ports and an HDMI connection. But they also threw in a USB-C port for you. Right, so what's going on with USB-C on this? Uh, not to plug in your mouse, right? Yeah, um, no. No, the idea here is that it's um, going to be supporting something called Virtual Link, which mm -hmm. is a, a VR um, standard mm -hmm. for connecting VR headsets directly to the card without having to do a whole bunch of... Into the front HDMI or back HDMI and like right. around the, yeah. Yeah, now I'm not entirely sure what actually supports Virtual Link yet, if anything, but that is actually... It's like ray tracing. Right. It's coming, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Yep, true. So next generation VR headsets might be able to take use of that. I don't know actually if the USB-C port will be able to be used for typical USB-C things. things. Yeah. But mm -hmm. um, it's there, and you'll notice no legacy ports, no DVI, no v certainly no VGA. Hence the dongle. Right, hence the dongle. Right, so you got, what do, what do we have? Three display ports and one Three display HDMI? ports and HDMI, yeah, which is the same as, as last gen. Right, okay, cool. So, um, um, so let's, I think a good thing here, now that we've looked at the stock cards, would be to take a look at yeah. what Zotac is doing. So right. we'll get more of these manufacturer cards in. Um, yeah, we have a couple on route, but this was the first one to arrive, so Zotac gets Zotac time gets in the, the sun. Yeah, they get the limelight. All right. Congrats, Zotac, for efficient shipping. There we go, all right. And this, the biggest difference here, because we said it's, it's apart a, from the box, which apart is from the box, two and a half times the size of the <laughs> Founders Edition box. Um, right. Yeah, the big difference here, which I won't give it away by showing you the lid. Um, so we're talking about how these were two fans. Yeah, I'll move these aside a little bit. This guy, oh my God, this thing's huge. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you can handle that by yourself. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. Um, three fans, um, and it's enormous. It yeah. is probably yeah, it's, another it's two inches longer. Twelve. 0.3 inches, I think we determined this morning. So as you can see, yeah, if you flip it over, actually, that's where it's even more drastic. Yeah, because the, the card the heat sink just yeah, flies off the A normal RTX here. card ends here. Zotac just kept on going. They're already pretty, pretty. Yeah, heavy. but as you can see, it's an extra, you know. Um, and I do, and make no mistake, I do live to game. Well, I mean, if you <laughs> if you don't, you probably shouldn't be buying that. I'm just yep. saying, you know. <laughs> I game to live. I don't live to game. You know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> there we go. So this is clearly a um, out of the box overclocked card. Mm. Backplate is different. As you can see, they cut away actually the area where the. Uh, 
GPU is. I guess they couldn't contain it or something of that sort. Um, Very odd. Right. And then on the uh, top edge here, we've got some Doo -doo -doo. branding up here. From what I understand, we haven't fired it up yet. This will light up the uh, sure. GeForce and the Zotac stuff. Yeah, and it looks you can, like. Yeah, and you can program it apparently in their software. Some mean looking uh, fans. Yeah, it's a it's a beast. I think it's only about forty bucks more though than the uh, stock, uh, or I shouldn't say stock, but the Founders Edition uh, RTX twenty eighty we have over here. So for an extra forty bucks, you get an extra fan, <laughs> a big mean card, um, and some performance, hopefully. Right there we go. Yeah, actually Zotac, like most of the other third party card makers, has their own overclocking and uh, tweaking software that you would use. I think there's called Firestorm. Mm -hmm. um, like EVGA has, uh, gosh, what is it called? Uh, Precision, I believe. You're doing this yourself. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to recall these these third party these there, software yeah. names. <laughs> yeah. That's keep, on you. Keep 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 track of them all. Yeah. Right. So, um, yeah, so that card will be coming out on the 20th along with uh, the Founders Edition card. There are others coming from people like MSI, PNY, ASUS, Gigabyte, um, and uh, we'll get a handful of those in too as well. Mm -hmm. So um, there we have them. I mean, that card um, is also a lot thicker, I think, actually. If you yeah, know, it's huge. I think that's going to take up three slots. Um, if you, yeah, <laughs> even though it doesn't take three slots on the bracket, the width of it means, yeah, you're going um, to be using up a lot of space in your case for that one. So yeah, 12.3 inches. It's like a foot long, foot long Very video wide card. Video card. And uh, I think uh, 830, 839 or thereabouts. So if you're just looking in terms of dollars per inch, mm. you know, this card's probably got, gonna win. Got, got the trophy. Yeah. yeah. So there so we far. go. Anything else in the box there? What do we have there? <laughs> got some cables. Um, oh, these are for converting uh, Molex connectors to um, uh, connectors on the top. What did that take? Did that take? Um, oh, it would take, take the same as this. Same as that. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, if you don't have a power supply with the pr proper connectors, you got some converters in there. And that's basically all that's in the box with mm. the uh, card. The name of this card, by the way, um, just so we get it right for the audience: Zotac Gaming GeForce RTX 2080 Amp, um, Amp, Amp Edition Amp. So there we have it. It's amped up. 839. Right. So we will be getting that one in the test bed too. So that's what we have so far on the RTX cards. Um, we will be reporting back next week with some numbers. Actual benchmark results. We do have another yeah. question. We have another question. Yeah, we had a question on timing of review. Mm -hmm. uh, and are we getting, <laughs> yeah. Um, and does each of them get a separate review? Okay, so they will each get their own reviews. I believe that the embargo dates are embargoed themselves. Mm. So we cannot. That's <laughs> right. that, that tracks. Okay. Yeah, so um, I would just say stay tuned real soon. We do, we do clearly have them. So. And we will be working on this through the weekend. Yes. So, um, um, so to give you an idea of it's, it, it, they're coming. I mean, and bearing in mind that September 20th is the actual on sale date. It's, yeah, that, that yeah. itself is approaching. Right. Um, so, so no later than that. Right. <laughs> yep, there we go. Um, but yeah, sorry to, can't, can't be more specific. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, the full, the full benchmarks uh, will be on their way. Um, and I yeah. mean, yeah, there's a lot of testing to be done. Yep. I'm um, going to also, you know, make sure uh, there's a good, control group to compare to the last generation so we can get specific yep. numbers and... Yep, yeah, we've been spending the week, um, and some of the folks in the lab have been spending the week testing the uh, previous gen cards, mm -hmm. you know, the um, AMD Radeon Vega 64, mm -hmm. um, the previous uh, NVIDIA t uh, GTX 1080, 1080 Ti, and depending on how much time we have before we run out of time, maybe some of the uh, 1070... Yeah, because the 2070 will, will come eventually. Yeah, I think it 2070 is, was October, yeah. yeah. It is on its way. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, 799, 1199, and 839, mm -hmm. and um, they're coming next week. We'll have some news on them. We will not have a whole lot about the ray tracing yeah. that's been hyped up around them. But, and then stay uh, tuned for further down the line as every manufacturer's card rolls in so we can get the best comparison and tell you which one looks like kind of the best the best buy. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. But there's probably something for everybody. Well, well as long as everybody was 800 bucks. Yeah, yeah. everyone's willing to spend a ton of money on a graphics card. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. It's, like, it's like iPhones. It's yeah. like the new iPhone lineup. Yeah, they're all expensive. Some correct. are even more expensive than others. They're about the same size, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello? That's, that's, the, uh, that's yeah. the XS. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Sorry, this is the, the XS. Oh, right, there we go. 10S-R. <laughs> all right. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. As, I, as we said, stay tuned. Uh, full reviews of these will be up. Benchmarks, everything you could want. Um, and thanks for tuning in. Yes.